Hi guys, Paul Wilson here. I got a message from Nelly. Nelly wrote, I learned a lot in minutes compared to reading Adobe support docs. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. I just have one question. Is there a way for me to stop and start the video demo recording at any time? Uh, example, I usually do application demo and sometimes screens take a long time to load. And also, if I need a break for a long demo, I would like to pause in between. Appreciate your response on how to do this. Thank you. Nelly went on to say, by the way, I tried to press pause break from my keyboard, but it does not seem to work. When I'm on my HP EliteBook laptop, I tried to press function break, but it does not work. Please help. And then Nelly added a um, frowny face emoticon to indicate Nelly's frustration. So I completely understand. I, uh, very early on in my use of Adobe Captivate, I took a look at the preferences window and I came to the same conclusion that I suspect that Nelly came to, uh, that if you look underneath the recording uh, category, specifically in the keys subsection, you'll see a reference to pause and resume recording. You can use the pause button and presumably it would toggle on or off or paused or, or resume. Uh, turns out that after a little bit of research, and this was not in the current version of Captivate, but in several versions ago, I learned that this is specifically only for software simulation work. So if you were to uh, be on a video demo, and here's a video demo that I recorded very briefly here, and if you were to select edit and preferences, alternatively, as you know, you can hit shift F8. And you'll see that for video demo, the recording key section is a subset of what we saw earlier. In fact, there's far fewer options. There's really only the ability to stop a recording and that's using the end key. Um, and then of course you can, you can uh, do some things with panning and, uh, toggling the mouse capture and so forth. The truth is, is that what I've learned to do or have since learned to do with my video demos, because almost all of my videos on my YouTube channel are in fact video demos. Uh, what I end up doing is I run two versions of Captivate at the same time. One of them is recording a video demo of the other while I demonstrate whatever the skill or the um, the project is that I'm, I'm sharing with you guys. Uh, but the challenge, of course, is that, again, as exactly as Nelly pointed out, you cannot uh, take a break, really, and pause and go away and get a glass of water or take a lunch break or whatever. Also, too, it would be nice to pause during those times when the software is loading or buffering or, or whatever it is that's causing a delay. So here's my process, what I do. I use a combination of the trim feature once I've made my recording to remove um, elements of the recording that are not necessary. So here's an example of, a, of just a demo recording to show you what I'm going to do. So in this recording here, what, what's happened is I've accidentally uh, dragged in another application into the window and I want to get rid of that. And so one way you can do that is you can use the trim feature. So you can pick a spot roughly, let's say at this point here, and then press the trim button, which is located at the bottom left-hand side of your toolbar. And then you can, uh, you can use these selection handles or controls to decide where you wish to cut that portion out. So you can actually, uh, what you can do is you can move your playhead to a point just before the item comes on screen and then use this control here, which will snap the trim start marker to the playhead. And then we can find where we wanna end that to. Let's play it for a little bit. So right about there is probably okay. 
and then I can snap the trim and marker to the playhead presently. And then I can complete that process by clicking on the final trim button here. And what will happen is it will cut and remove this portion of my video demo. So let's just do that right now. And what you end up with is two pieces of uh, your video demo video in the timeline. So now if I play this, uh, you'll see, of course, when we reach that point where the edit has been performed, that that item has been removed from the video and it has no effect on the, the end product. So this is what I would recommend that, that Nelly does. Um, Nelly, if you, if you are making video demos, go ahead and take that break. Just keep recording, go get a drink of water, take a few minutes to compose yourself. If there are uh, sections of your video where there's uh, long loading times for different points of the, uh, or parts of the application, again, you can just use the trim feature to take those out once you've finished recording your video. Guys, if you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.